All right, mom, I know you wanted me home this summer, but I'm here in Florida, NBC6, day one. I just sent you a photo, but figured we're trying to get on camera this summer. Send you a day one video too, about to leave the house. NBC Miami, baby. And there it is, a look back at day one, and wow, I've learned a lot since then. I see a fair amount of familiar faces in the audience and some new ones. For those just meeting me for the first time, I'm Stephen Noble. Working in a newsroom has always been a dream of mine, so this summer was certainly a dream come true, a dream that I had the pleasure of documenting along the way. Together, you and I, let's take a trip down memory lane and see how an aspiring journalist from Chicago made his mark on NBC6 in South Florida. First day in the books, you got the NBC6 logo right there. Honestly, pretty overwhelmed. Met a lot of people, way more than I expected, but still feeling good about it. Should be a good summer. Unlike some of the other interns that got thrown into the chaos from the get-go, Christina showed me some grace for my first three weeks. Thank you for that, Christina, and started me off on the daytime shift. I was working fairly normal hours, but still made the most of it by honing in on the fundamentals of journalism. I just feel like I'm becoming more confident as a writer and the EPs and the producers are not editing my writing as much, which means I'm improving. If I've learned anything, it's that in this industry, you can never be too comfortable. As the summer went on, my hours changed, and before I knew it, I was part of the nighttime crew. And it seems I joined that team just in time because those late nights were full of breaking news. Debate tonight, four days earlier, the Panthers win while I'm on shift in the studio. I mean, like, I'm getting lucky covering all these events and breaking news. This is real history. Sometimes it felt like I was a magnet that just attracted crazy stories. Even on the graveyard shift, the breaking news, it just kept coming. This happened. Well, it seems like there was a glitch caused by a problem with Microsoft and malware company called CrowdStrike. Never thought I would see how a newsroom operates when everything is down. All of our systems somehow still ended up going live. Ironically, the shift I feared the most was actually my favorite. There was just something I loved about working from 3 a.m. to noon. Despite my love for the morning shift, sometimes <laughs> there's just not enough coffee in the world that can save you from mornings like this. It's 3 a.m. I'm tired, but I got coffee, it's raining. There aren't a ton of people working in the studio at 3 a.m. I know, shocking, right? For many, that would cause stress, but for me, that was just music to my ears. Less staff means more stress, but also more opportunity. I basically wrote like the whole show, and I stacked the cut-ins for the Today Show, and uh, I also got to do something I've been waiting to do basically all summer. Hey, Lena, stand by. The summer interns were blessed with extracurricular opportunities. We got to tour the Telemundo Center in Doral. I don't know Spanish, but we're here, Telemundo. We're looking good, we're looking fly. We got all the interns, wait, pan around to everyone else. Take professional headshots. Suit on, hair done, ready for headshots today. And I look good, but what's new? I always look good and meet with newsroom leaders like Alexis Howard and Ozzy Martinez. Biggest takeaway was they talked about finding a necessity in the newsroom. So as an intern, I gotta figure out how to do that. Muhammad, known by some as the GOAT, known by others as the go-to NBC6 editor, was out for two weeks. His absence, well, it gave way to chaos. Packages weren't getting finished, simple VOs all messed up. I had finally found my necessity. After making it known that I could edit, I found producers, reporters, anchors, and even other editors looking to me for post-production. Just got to the station. I'm here 30 minutes early because I know they're gonna have a package for me. It's been like every day I walk in and Lopez, Howard, Christina, Carla, someone's got something for me to edit. Editing, writing, producing, it was great but I'm not built to sit at a desk all day. I'd proven myself an asset in the newsroom. Now it was time to take my talents to the field. Hey, finally out in the field, got in front of the camera, got to record a stand up, I'm over the moon. I was definitely excited, don't get me wrong, but when I watched the stand up back, I was honestly disappointed by my presence on camera. 
Record State Barahona even broke into a police car stealing a flashlight. Police the good news was the executive producers continued to send me out and with every rep, I got better. A local fisherman makes a disturbing discovery. The group that was here this morning calling for transparency in an international recounting of votes. People that frequent this park say that they believe it might now be dangerous and their heart, it goes out to the family. The rappers fans don't seem to be bothered by this incident. To recap, a fight escalated into a shooting, reporting in Hialeah, reporting in Opelika, reporting from Doral, Stephen Noble, NBC6 News. I also made sure that no matter how devastating a story might be, it's important to keep my head up and keep having fun. But look, the field is about more than dance moves and looking pretty on screen, which we all know I'm pretty good at doing. But you really have to film interviews, knock on doors, get visual elements that help tell the story to the viewers at home. Did Erica say stay in your car? Yes. Did I stay in the car? No. Did it work out to not just my benefit, but everyone's benefit? A thousand percent. Before Bree and Linda got there, photographer and reporter, I'm out on the scene. I got an interview. Then I was a huge role in getting us the surveillance footage. Big cybersecurity attack. Absolutely no interviews. Don't stress. Just call Stephen Noble. I got us in touch with the senior vice president of corporate communications. All it took was like four phone calls. I walked into the summer with just one goal. Pitch a story, get it approved, and then turn that story for air. Finally did it. My pitch got approved. All the way down in Homestead, just finished writing. Just waiting for approval. I've never had more tech issues in my life than, of course, today. But you know what? The setup got me through it. We're uploading to Latiku, and we're ready to see it air. One problem, I hated the way I tracked the package. I made a happy and exciting story about animals finding their forever homes well, into something boring and just monotone. Their mission? Help find homes for as many animals as possible. After some anchor training with Chris and Roxy, Amazon Prime Day is officially here and the deals are rolling in this morning. I was ready for a do-over. Earlier in the summer, I got to watch the Panthers win from the control room. What I didn't tell you was I also got to watch them celebrate in person down A1A. The Panthers players not shy about interacting with fans. All-star Matthew Kachuk took a dip in the ocean, and Nick Cousins got off the bus to hang out with a long line of Floridians. And he can do what he wants right now because Look he is him. a champion. He's just striking people's ranks. <laughs> now that right there, that is a package I am proud of. The track, it brings the energy. The writing paints a picture for the viewer, and my storytelling, well, it's on point. So the summer's over, and I can tell you're all dying to know my next move. I'll tell you, this kid from Chicago who spent his summer in Florida is headed all the way back to Los Angeles, where I will be a junior studying journalism at the University of Southern California. This coming semester, you can catch me anchoring and reporting on YouTube for USC's Annenberg TV News. But if you give it just two more years, be patient, then I'm confident you can watch me anchoring and reporting from your TV at home. For one final time this summer, I'm Stephen Noble, NBC6 News.